Hello everyone, we have a how-to week this week, so I figured I would bring you over to my desk and show you some of the shortcuts or tricks that I use when editing in Premiere. These tricks, some of them are fairly new to me, I only found out about them like a week ago, <laughs> but most of them I've been using regularly every time I edit, so hopefully they're useful to you too. So the first tip is using the magnet. This is one of the tips that I only learned last week, but it's come in handy a lot. So by having the magnet icon turned on, you make sure that your clips snap into place or other previous cuts when you move them around. And if you don't have the magnet turned on, getting them to align and go where you want them to can be a bit trickier. So if you want to make aligning clips easier, make sure you have the magnet turned on. The second tip is using two keyboard shortcuts to trim before and after your clip. So this one works like this. Instead of having to cut, delete and drag, you can set your keyboard to ripple trim. So you go to your keyboard shortcuts and set the shortcut to Q and W or other keyboard keys that you want, but I just use Q and W. So you click that key, search ripple trim previous edit and drag that to Q, then search ripple trim next edit and drag it to W. You can now delete chunks of video with just the click of a key. The next one is select forward and it's actually uh, just a simple thing that Premiere has, but I didn't know about it. So you can use this icon, track select forward or A on your keyboard to select everything to the right of your cursor and move it to the side with just one click instead of having to select every clip and go row by row and then move it. You can just drag it and add whatever you want and then put it back where it was. So yeah. Number four is a very useful one, which I only learned last week as well. Say you have a clip and you want to move it to the side. Most of the times when you do it with your mouse, it doesn't exactly land where you want it to be. Or at least it takes a couple tries. So say I want to have this clip just a few frames before. I can just press Command and the arrow key and it moves to that side. This next one is of how I make thumbnails. If it's something a little bit more complex, I wouldn't do it this way, but if it's just selecting a frame and adding title and the icon on the corner, then I'll just do it in Premiere. So to make a thumbnail easily, I scroll around my timeline, find a frame I like and click this camera icon here. I make sure that import into project is turned on and click OK. So that's going to add that still of video to my project, place it on my timeline, add my text or whatever on top and click the same camera icon again to make a JPEG of that. And that's going to be my thumbnail. Right, I think this is all. Let me know if you have any Premiere tricks or shortcuts that can be helpful. Thank you for watching and I will see you next week.